Welcome to History's Mysteries with Chase Heyman. Today we are talking about the greatest explorer in the history of the world, Leif Erikson. It is one of the greatest discoveries in the world, the New World. Across the Atlantic Ocean, a new frontier lay for anyone to take it. Many think it was Columbus in 1492 that discovered this land beyond the sea, but that is wrong. The true captain that landed on America was not an Englishman, or French, or even Spanish, but a Viking no less. His name was Leif Erikson, and he made the discovery that changed the world four centuries before Columbus even set sail. Leif Erikson is born to fame. His father, Eric the Red, is a famous colonist of Greenland, exiled from Iceland. Long before his journey, Leif Erikson sets sails for Norway, where he meets the king and transforms his life. A son born of Norse mythology, he converts to Christianity, the religion which is spreading across the globe. After this journey, he sets forth for Greenland, where his mission will start. Erikson purchases a longboat, the Bargen, a Viking longboat, the most powerful weapon in the Viking arsenal. The Viking Navy has the most... Advanced technology in the ancient world with a sleek, fast boat with both sails and oars. Each boat with custom-made oak planks with a dragon head on the bow. The warriors use hit-and-run tactics and are feared by the mostly every empire on the planet. It will land somewhere near Newfoundland or Labrador, and it will become the first colony in the Viking Empire. They call it Markland. This is where the New World is founded by European powers. Records say this land was full of salmon, and that the wilderness spread on for miles towards the high horizon. The crew soon figures out that they are not alone, though. That other people roam their new colony, the Inuit, the natives of the land. Leif Erikson gives gifts of Viking silver in turn for peace. Little do the clans know that the backup plan is death by Viking axe. Small villages of no more than 30 pop up all over the land, and suddenly, once again, Leif goes on a quest for fame to extend the Viking Empire. Not one person knows why they left, but we do know where they went when they returned. Leif Erikson, the Great, returns to Greenland to take his father's role as chief of Greenland. The man starts his life again and raises a family and dies in his homeland, more a hero than his father ever was. Viking evidence spreads from the northern Hudson Bay to Maine, but no one knows where they stopped this growing empire or why they even left. Archaeological evidence supports many finds, while history and outrule them as fakes. Native American stories of Viking encounters are spread across North America. No one knows where they went or why they left, but what, for whatever reason they sh deserve to be recognized. Leif Erikson, the man who discovered the New World 400 years before Columbus even set foot.